Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Roland and today we have the ultimate Jawa Tesla Model Y accessories videos for 2023. So I reached out to Jawa a while back just in relation to uh, seeing if there was an opportunity to work with them in terms of uh, reviewing a lot of their accessories. They've gone ahead and sent me these three boxes that you can see over here and today we're going to unbox them and we'll see exactly what we've got. Uh, it has been a while so I'm not 100% sure exactly what we have in this box but the intent is we'll unbox it, I'll showcase all of it and then we'll also have videos as we go through the install. You may have seen a previous video that I'll link up here of some previous accessories I've bought myself. Um, I'll do the comparison with them as well so you guys can ultimately decide what's right for you and what you feel like um, you'd use in your everyday lives. And also I do have a referral or a discount code that I'll put in the description box below and you guys can use that for 5% off their entire um, the entire store as well so let's get on to it so first box here let's have a look so this one here is the floor mats so I'll put this down here just so we can open it we'll bring out our trusty knife so this one said uh, floor mats so let's have a look And because they were bunched together, it looks like some other accessories have come in here as well. So I'll just move that out of the way. All right. So here is the first item. So I'll take it out of uh, the bags so you guys can see. So here are the floor mats. This is the first one. I'll probably do an overlay with uh, all the actual items, but that's one of them there. Here is the second one that you can see here. So this is of course for the rear seats and from what I can feel at the moment they don't feel like uh, they're more of the carpet type. Um, there are lots of grooves in here of course to trap all the dirt and the, and the dust and whatnot and it is more of a hard plastic. So in terms of wear and tear these will probably last a fair bit. So that's the second one and the third one that we've got over here. This is most likely on the other side. There you are. So that's that one. We'll get rid of that box and let's go with the next one. Next one here we've got is cargo mats. All right. Okay. All right, first things first, this looks like this one might be for the frunk. So again, looks pretty deep, pretty sturdy, hard material. Next one we've got here. This I believe seems like is going to be for the uh, for the boot, just the one down below. And I've got two more over here. So this looks like, this is, uh, one more, sorry, just folds out. So this looks like it's the boot tray. So it looks like it is raised up. Uh, I'll probably put a closer picture or overlay that so you guys can see here. There are grooves all around, so if you are talking about any spillages or anything, it should definitely contain. It doesn't seem like it's more of a breathable carpet type material. 
it is uh, plastic and uh, yeah, seems quite sturdy. And it's got that halfway mark indent over here in the design so that when you do want to lift the boot tray up to access the storage below, you can do so fairly easily, just lifting it there. But again, we'll do a comparison when we get to install these in the car. Let's get the next box out of the way. All right, the fun one. So let's see what's in this box, this big boy. All right. All right, there's quite a few accessories here. So let's go one by one. All right. So the first item that we have here is rear, rear under seat air vent cover. So for the ones that don't know, uh, just underneath your rear seats at the front, you've got two aircon vents. They do have holes over there. And uh, if you don't have them covered, there is a chance that if you've got something small, you can drop it in. So these ones are there essentially to uh, take it off, to cover it off. So I'll open this and I'll take some close up photos and I'll do the overlay on top in a moment. So they just feel like this meshy type material and it's Velcro, so it should actually just stick on straight on top. Next one here is the tissue and storage box and I've got here tissue box holder for the Model Y. Alright, so you've got here limited warranty here, so scan and register to extend your warranty coverage from a standard one to two years, 50,000 miles or four years slash 100,000 miles from the date of purchase. Okay, so let's get this box out of the way. So you can here you can see wood grain and it's a leather type material on the sides over here. And then just underneath, I presume that's where you'd put your tissue box in. There we are. So it's a felt like material inside. So I presume you put your tissue box there, put this plate on top to make sure that it holds there, and then close that off. So there you go, that's the tissue storage box. Tissue box holder, custom designed for Tesla Model Y, for place the jaw, tissue box, tissue box holder in the second row floor, ideal place for driver and passengers to reach easily. And there's a molded plastic hook to ensure that you do not damage the car interior or fabric. Okay, so it seems like it sits on the floor and I presume that it sits something like that, Velcro straps in somehow and then this tissue box of course just oh, somehow sits like that either way when we get through the installation i'll show you guys how that looks like all right so the next one we've got here is just the airpods to stand so it's essentially just to help boost up the location of your airpods so you could just put it straight on so that it can charge Then we've got a uh, center console tray organizer for Tesla. So you may have seen that I've got uh, some of the other ones already that I've previously purchased. So we'll do a comparison um, when we get there. All right, so here's the center console tray. It's more of a clear type color with a dark gray clear color. There is from what you can see here, I guess more of a silicone 
feel to it. So this doesn't feel, this isn't hard plastic. So this bit here is hard plastic and then this bit here is more of a silicone type material. So if there are spills or anything at all, quite easy to clean up. The other version that I've got is uh, not from Jawa, but is uh, more plastic suede type material. All right, next thing we've got here is USB hub with LED light for Tesla. So some of the details that it says here, light and fit, uh, it's designed for Model 3, Model Y, 2021 refresh console, dual USB-C ports. They do support power delivery and data. Do note though, in the new vehicles, in the new Model 3 and Model Ys, you actually don't have data um, control in the middle as that module was removed. So you do need to add that on yourself in the future if you need. Um, what else does it say? Perfect uh, with your center console organizer, automatic distribution of available power to your Tesla USB uh, connected devices. All charging is optimized. Okay, so that's the USB hub with LED light. So I'll put a picture up of uh, what it's supposed to look like, but see there, I might try zoom in if I can. It's a port that looks like it just sits there and uh, you've got the additional ports at the top over here. So the ports up here, two USB-Cs, one USB-A, and I presume this button here is for the light. And then you've got two additional USB-A ports over here. And it does say that uh, one of the ports is USB-C power delivery 3.0 and data, which is 27 watts, and the other one is 18 watts. So 18 and 27 for the more refreshed ones, we don't unfortunately get the data port there, but you do have 27 watts. So we'll have to load up some accessories to see uh, if we can charge it and see how we go. All right, next one here, armrest storage organizer. So again, the outside, similar to the other tray that we've got over here is hard plastic. And inside this bit, which you can see, you can actually remove if required. This bit here is a uh, plasticky silicone type. So again, in terms of any dirt storage, anything, it's a lot easier to clean. And it's because of the material being the silicone type, uh, you definitely can just run it underwater if there's any dirt or anything like that. And the way that it's built, uh, I'll take some photos and I'll load it up on the screen. Up close, there are little hinges or grooves where these uh, silicone trays actually do sit so that it actually locks in. And it's the same thing with uh, this tray over here. You've got some hinges over here so it actually locks in and holds pretty well. All right, what do we have here? Uh, next thing we've got, Jawa Center Console Cup Holder. So, uh, premium silicone, a dot food grade silicone which can withstand extreme temperatures from minus 40 to 220 degrees Celsius, non-toxic, eco-friendly, easy to hold, and there is a custom key card holder as well. Uh, all right, so what's the cards say over here? So you've got your warranty card. You've also got uh, this for the cup holder installation guide. So rear seat cup holder. So obviously you pull the rear console down where you've got the cup holder there. And then you can, uh, the one side is designed deep, one side is designed shallow. So this here, that's all the same in terms of the depth. You then also do have this additional tray here or this insert here that you can see, it's not 100% leveled. So this side here is of course lower, this side here is higher, and you've got H and L that indicates that as well. And when you put it in, that essentially holds it to make, to raise it up. So I don't know if you can see it through the video there, but over here, the higher one is about where the grooves are over here, and the lower one dips down to about halfway down here. So depending on the size of your coffee cup, if you get a small coffee cup, obviously you can use it in the higher section. Otherwise you can take this out if you don't need that and just use it as you need. All right, what else do we have? Here we have a gunpowder wheel uh, touch-up pen. So hopefully I won't need to use this. Uh, directions to use, clean the surface, shake well, 
Use brush to apply paint close tightly after each use. So what it comes with, a really, really fine brush, which I'll take a photo to show you all. And then you've got the touch up pen, paint scratch repair for Tesla. So that's it over there. Again, I'll load a picture up shortly so you guys can see next to it, what it actually looks like when it's zoomed in. All right, next one we've got here, Jawa 6D invisible fold away car mount, MagSafe wireless charging. So yes, I am a Apple user. So I've got the MagSafe version. They also do have a universal fit version, which is essentially for all the other phones or phones that don't have MagSafe. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at this one. And some other notes that it says here, supports iPhone with MagSafe wireless charging, customized cable for Model 3 and Y center console, invisible and hidden design, 120 degree rotation and washable suction cap. And again, it's got the usual warranty that Jawa offers as well. So there is, I'll put a photo of it up here. That's just uh, what it looks like when you open the box. Instruction manual. Uh, what's this one? Cable management charging guide. So this is just telling you uh, how do you hide the cable? So plug the L-shaped connector into, into the rear USB-C ports, tuck the cable into the side trim, make sure it doesn't fall out, and then plug it into your car or device. So that's the actual unit there. Comes with, looks like some cable clips. And then underneath it all, you've got your actual cable as well. And there is also a QR code, quick start video, uh, quick start guide, sorry, if you do need to look at how to do it, but I think it's self-explanatory. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We're looking forward to using this one. All right, next one here, what is this one? This is the magnetic tissue box cover and holder. All right, so that's it there. It feels like a leathery type or plastic type material. More of a leathery type, actually. Uh, that's silica gel that we won't need. So instructions, so open the two sides, put the tissue box in the middle, fold the two sides in and close the button. So this is what the entire thing looks like. As you can see there, what I'd expect is put the tissue box in like that. And then you fold it over with the sides of course there. And then on the back you can see there's the MagSafe or the magnetic bit that you can actually uh, hook it to. And this must be the magnetic car seat holder. So we'll open this up. So here are two versions of it. So you can see there, you'd put that in the back and there you go. So MagSafe for your tissue box. So this box here in terms of the uh, magnetic car seat holder, it's a pack of two. And then being the same design or same technology as the magnets MagSafe, you could also throw your phone or any other devices onto the back of that as well. Very nice. All right, next one we've got here, multi-device wireless controller. So I haven't even had the chance to review my other ones. So watch out, uh, we'll have a video doing the comparison for the two when we get them up and running. This one here, uh, multi-gaming platform and device, so easily pair and connect with multiple devices and switch between them with a multi-device switch. Uh, designed to 
enhance your gaming experience, dual motors, vibrations, built-in 6-axis gyro sensor, auto burst function, uh, built-in 600 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and supports USB-C cable charging and playing at the same time, which is fantastic. Um, and then you've got here package contents, multi-device wireless controller, USB-C to USB-A cable, USB-C adapter and wireless USB dongle. And this is the black carbon version. So let's have a look. Okay, so that's the first that you see over here. And this is what it looks like. But again, I'll put a close up picture up above so you guys can all see what that looks like. You've got little rings to protect the joystick. And from what I can see, if I compare it with a Nintendo Switch controller, this is a lot thinner. Feels quite comfortable. The buttons, uh, yeah, they feel pretty good. Feels very, very similar to a Nintendo Switch. The buttons feel pretty good. Tactile, they're clicky, as you can see. I'll hold it to the mic. And the best thing of all I like so far is they feel really, really compact. And so, the other things that I said that they include, there's a USB-C adapter here to USB-A. Then there's a USB-A. So essentially, if you're connecting and you're using USB-C, that's how it would look. You've then got the charging cable here, which is USB-C to USB-A. And that is essentially it for the two. So we'll put these away. Oh, and the other thing that it says here, uh, you can actually pair wireless USB dongle, which is to your computer or to the Tesla, which is that dongle that I showed earlier on. There is also Bluetooth functionality. So you can actually com uh, pair it up to your Apple or Android devices. So being that small, if you do play any games on your phone or your tablet, you can pair it and use that too. And we will give that a go. Uh, I, it says switch, so I'm not too sure if this is talking about a switch for something else or if it's switch as in this is also something you can pair with a Nintendo Switch. So perhaps we'll give that a go as well. Um, and then there's just some instructions here on how to pair. So looking forward to giving these ones a go. All right, we are almost at the end. There is still quite a few boxes. Uh, here is the second controller which uh, we've opened the first one, so you guys know what that looks like. So we'll just put that one aside. The other thing that it comes with is a four port USB dash cam hub. So uh, it says here dash cam reader times one USB 3.0, USB 3.2, Gen 1, speed up to five gigabytes per second, designed for SSD USB drive, which is fantastic. Then you've got USB A ports time three. So USB 2.0 speeds up to 480, MBPS and designed for USB dongles. And there is aluminum housing. So let's have a look at this one. So I'll put up a closer picture of this one as well. So aluminum housing, which feels really good. You can see here the blue signifies USB 3.0. Over here you've got the dash cam and then over here you've got the remainder of the three ports. So it's great because this belongs in the glove box. What that means is um, with the newer Model 3s and Model Ys, there is no data port in the middle of the car. So you have to actually rely on the same port that's in the glove box. So what that means is instead of plugging your, uh, your USB in for just the sentry footage or for your dash cam, you can plug this in, then plug in the hard drive into here and you've still got three ports additional. So you could use two of them for the controllers, one more for whatever else you need. All right, now next couple of items that we've got here, additional touch-up pens for the wheels, and then we've got two touch-up pens, I believe, for, for the car. So let's have a look at these ones. So again, in this one, you've got a really fine brush and then you've got Midnight Silver, which is the color of a car, Midnight Silver Metallic. 
touch up paint, paint scratch repair for Tesla. Hopefully we won't need these, but being in Sydney and being an everyday car, you will drive on the highway at some point in time. I'm sure that will get a little bonnet chip. So uh, yeah, we'll see when the time comes, we'll give this a go and hopefully that patches up perfectly fine. So that's again the gunpowder wheel paint and the touch up paint for the car. All right, next we have here, under seat collapsible organizer for the Model Y. So designed for Model Y, exclusive design box to fit under seat space, alternative solution to keep your items organized, foldable and expandable. And handle designed for multi-purpose, so convenient to use for car washing, camping, you name it. There's no indication of how it looks from the outside, so we'll have to give it a uh, quick unboxing and we'll see what it actually looks like. All right, so within this box, you've got your usual warranty card. You've then got, it's literally like a basket. So this is a storage box. I'd, there is, of course, what just fell out, the silicon component, which you can put straight down here. And then from here, so I say that's probably about five centimeters or thereabouts. If I push this down, let me see how this works. it turns into a bucket, fantastic. So that seems like it'll hold, hold a fair bit actually. So it'd be good to uh, measure how much stuff you can actually throw in here. But having the handles, easy to grab, off you go. All right, so that's the bucket over there. And I presume uh, if you need to fold it, it's collapsible, it's all soft material, so it'd be fairly easy to do. And this pack comes with, uh, or this box comes with two of them. So, just as a quick comparison, so since we've got these open, that's the collapsed version, and that's it expanded over there. And it does say that uh, it was for the under seat. So I believe that I've got current trays there in the front seat. These probably just sit straight in there, slots in there. And then if you do need anything, um, you need, do need to take this away, then you can just pull it out and you can expand it, pull it up, and there you go. Very funky design, very smart idea, Joel. All right, I feel like I'm starting to run out of space here. Okay, next item, couple left, foldable car tray. So, you guys may have seen this all over the internet, people eating McDonald's or eating fast food in their car, working on their laptop. I personally, sometimes when we're out, um, I do charge and I do work off my laptop editing these videos for you guys. So very, very keen to give this one a go. Uh, in terms of the details, so this says here, uh, perfect match for Model 3 and Y front seats. They provide comfortable space, working and meal time, easy to install and storage to store in the front. Wood pattern design perfectly matches Tesla interior and adopt PU leather with fiberboard for a soft touch, added feeling and added durability. Folds in half, branding over here, and if you open it, that's what it looks like from the front. There also seems to be some grippy pad bits over here on the back, and that's how the back looks like. Again, I'll put a picture up of it uh, next to me when I start to go through editing the videos, but that's a tray there. All right, two more items, we're nearly there. So, uh, Jawa LED light bar is the next one that we've got here. So built-in photosensitive and infrared sensor, built-in 500 milliamp hour Li Ion battery, supports eight hours lighting or three months in sensor mode and perfectly fits within your compartment organizer. So. Okay, USB cables, instructions, and the light. So, USB, this feels like a felt type material or fabric type material. Uh, it's odd shaped as you can see here, but it looks like there is a USB 
C to USB A and then there is also a micro USB top over here with regards to the adapter so it looks like uh, over here it is a micro USB adapter charger and this here it just reminds me of push pop if you guys don't know what it is I'll put a push pop right here next to you I grew up eating push pops push pop lollies as a kid um, and yeah so there you go this is one light switch setting that's off and that's also on I believe that might be the sensor light uh, we'll test out how bright that actually is as well um, in one of the videos once we actually get in the car so you guys can actually see um, how useful this light could be all right and last but not least the one I am looking forward to probably the most the car sunshade for Tesla so as you guys all know absolutely really beautiful nice glass roof in the summer heat though it does get hot so very keen to test out uh, in terms of temperature what the differences would be uh, with and without this so I'll let you guys know once we do some of that testing some of the details that they put here and again I'll put a little snapshot of this just up somewhere here on the screen uh, glass roof sunshade for Tesla the light vehicle the lightweight mesh fabric helps reduce the heat transmission into the car by blocking most of the solar thermal load Easy install with removal or specifically designed sunshade clips. The sunshade can be folded into smaller shape and store in handy pouch, which also perfectly fits with the Jawa Rewell liner. So package includes front glass roof sunshade, rear glass roof sunshade, sunshade clips times 12, a pry bar and zippered storage pouch. All right, let's have a look. That's it there, that's the bag. It's actually not too big. And you've got a zip over here. You've then got your clips with your pry bar. And then So, two pieces that you can see here. Oh, there we go. That's the first piece there. So, now you see me, now you don't. That's roughly how much light gets through. And here's the second piece. Let's hope that doesn't just open up and smack me in the face. There you go. There's the second piece over there. So we'll install these and keep you posted. So guys, that wraps up all of the accessories that we've seen over the coming couple, next couple of days or over the next week, we'll aim to install all of them. I'll give you guys a detailed comparison of my existing products versus these ones. Again, in the meantime, if there's any of these you guys have already seen and you already want to pick some up, I'll put a discount code or a referral code down in the description below. A big thank you again to Joel for sending these out to me. I can't wait to get my hands on all of these and to start using them in my everyday life to see how it looks like and how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Like and subscribe for more. The next couple of videos will essentially be a review on all of these accessories as we start to install them in the car. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.